can you be a businessman and still have a good physique, be healthy? Well, stay tuned. So what's up guys, it's BC. Uh, I wanted to shoot this video because I've gotten a ton of requests for it. I get a lot of questions about uh, being healthy, uh, having a good physique, uh, you know, being a businessman, how do you balance uh, your physical activities with your business activities and all that. And I wanted to make a video to go over some basic tips that I've been following for a long time and give you guys some insight and specific action items that you can do to start getting yourself Again, it's not just about your physique, it's about how you feel and your actual health, okay? So here is my physique. If any of you have not seen it, I've been boxing, I've been lifting, I've been an athlete my whole life, so staying in relatively good shape hasn't been too difficult for me. However, I do follow a lot of very uh, precise measures when it comes to my physique and my health. So before I even get into the details, uh, let's talk first about some basics, right? I've been vegan for three years now, and even prior to that, uh, through my athletic career in basketball, uh, if you don't know, I played basketball from age 10 or 11 all the way up until 25, 26, when I hung up my shoes uh, from the professional ranks. I've always, uh, in the beginning, I had a very bad diet, right, when I was a kid. And what I did later on through my coaches and my trainers is I really refined my diet to... Um, getting a lot of the processed stuff out and getting rid of uh you know yeast and 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 a lot of that you know the starches and all that stuff and i really kept it simple so i went from eating a lot of candies and pizzas and that kind of stuff to eating more in the beginning before i went vegan eating more um, a little bit of meat right but more cleaner stuff like potatoes oatmeal i got rid of milk and all dairy products cheeses and all that junk I drank uh, basically just water. I got rid of most juices and that kind of stuff as well. So I kept it very simple and very clean, right? Nuts, uh, walnuts, almonds, that kind of stuff. Nothing too crazy, okay? So I just wanted to give you guys that, that background because it's not just the physical activity, it's what you're consuming, okay? Now, obviously I've been an athlete my whole life and I do consume a lot, but I burn a lot as well. And I'll get into my specific workouts and that kind of stuff too. So the first thing that you want to um, get together in your mind is the fact that this has to become a priority for you. If it's not a priority, nothing's gonna happen, right? I see too many, too many people talking about, oh, I wanna get in shape, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, but they never do anything, okay? I don't care who you are, if you have 10 kids, one kid, I know people from all kinds of backgrounds, from different places who have money, who don't have money, who are single with no responsibilities, who are married or single and have six kids, and they all do it. In the beginning stages of me getting into real estate, when I was literally working 12, 14, 15 hour days, I got my ass up at five in the morning and I'd go to the gym for 45 minutes, not even that long. I'd get my lift in, I'd get some shots up, I'd get a sweat in, and I'd get it over with early, which is probably what most of you are gonna have to do. Nowadays, I'm boxing which in itself, that 45 minute or hour long workout is crazy enough to have me good. Like if you just boxed with my trainer for three days a week, you'd be in really fucking good shape, okay? So that's the first thing is you have to accept that you have to make this a priority because if you don't, nothing is going to happen. Whether it's a person, whether it's your health, whether it's your finances, if something is not actually a priority in your mind, nothing ever is gonna happen and you're gonna be stuck just like everybody else because your mind and you know what your priorities are. Why is it that so many people can seem to muster up the energy, the focus, and the time, even though it seems like they don't, to get certain things done? And you're like, dude, how are you doing that, yet you're not healthy, right? We have too many examples like that, and we, we ourselves know that we're doing stuff like that all the time. How many people will make time for video games, but they won't make time to make money, okay? The mindset is the first part. Number two is find things that are high octane meaning a lot of bang for your buck. You put a little bit of time, you get a big result. This is one of the reasons I got into boxing, okay? It doesn't require me having four uh, other people to play on the court or nine if I play, you know, two on two, three on three, or five on five. I can literally get my trainer, or if I don't have the money, I can just hit the bag, get a pair of gloves and hit the bag, right? It's very quick. The, the workout with him, I'm, I could be in and out and under an hour, and that's including warming up and cooling down. And it's insane the amount of calories you burn and how much energy you expend in that small amount of time. I think they call it HIT training, high intensity interval training or something like that, right? I don't know the science behind it. You can look that up. But that is something you can do very quickly that gets you great results. Because again, it's not just about having, oh, I'm ripped and all that. That's not important. It's about being healthy. 
A lot of entrepreneurs and business people run themselves into the ground because all they do, all they do all day is talk, work, 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 have these little lunches where they eat a bunch of crap and they just run their health into the ground. Okay? So I don't care who you are, you can find 30, 45 minutes. Shit, back in the day I did that, um, what was that workout called? Insanity for a while. When I was in between, in the summer, I was traveling, I didn't have much time, I'd pop in that tape and in 20, 30 minutes you did a crazy freaking workout. And when I was in the middle of doing what I was doing, that's what I needed and it worked, okay? It, it, it kept me fit, it kept me strong and I was good. So where there's a will, there's a way. So let's say um, you don't want to do the HIIT training and you don't want to do a 30, 45 minute workout or an hour workout. Hell, I just came back from a walk. I went on a 30, 45 minute walk. That's some of the best exercise you can do, okay? If you have an hour long lunch, go out on a walk. Take some uh, running shoes with you and take a different shirt. If you're a business person like I am with the pants and the jacket and all that and go for a freaking walk, man. Our bodies as human beings were designed to walk. That's what we do. It's great and you feel great. You get your mind away from everything, especially you who are salespeople like me that are constantly talking to people and you're having negativity thrown at you and a bunch of other stuff. Just go on a walk, man. Just go on a walk. You'll feel so much better. It'll clear your mind. It'll clear your space and it'll get you away from whatever activity it is that you're doing. Okay. That's one of the easiest ways. Another tip, drink a lot of water, man. A lot of people are too busy drinking coffee and fucking bang and monster and all that bullshit. Get away from all liquids except for water. The only other liquid I can say that I drink on a somewhat regular basis too is the kombucha because I think it's fucking good, right? The whole digestive thing. And uh, I have like a pea milk or almond milk or whatever. So it's like a replacement milk if I have and decide to have a bowl of cereal. That's it. Other than that, I just drink water, okay? Now the only supplement I take since I'm vegan is a, a vegan multivitamin that gives me B12 and all that other stuff that apparently I'm lacking as a vegan, right? That's it. And I get that in liquid form and I get it from Amazon. It's raw, it's vegan and all that. And that big bottle that lasts me 60 days, I think is worth like 20 bucks. So it's very affordable as well, okay? Basically what this boils down to is it needs to become a priority. Now, I mentioned earlier the foods. You guys have to either prepare your food ahead of time by cooking, you know, maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday and packaging up most of the stuff that you're gonna do for the week, right? Like little salads and this and that. You have to stay away from the processed foods, man. That's the best thing I've ever done. When I go to these car shows and I go to all these events, hell, when I travel, I use that time to fast, which is another thing you guys can do. Fast, once a month, every four to six weeks. Fast for 24 hours. You can do it, it's all mental. Oh, well, I feel like I'm gonna pass out bullshit. You can go weeks without eating and just drinking water, okay? More than anything, that's gonna give you that mental fortitude to be able to stick with this long term. This isn't a diet, this isn't a fad, this is a change in your lifestyle. That's what this is about. And if you can do this and commit to this, committing to your business priorities and everything else becomes easier. Because we know, at the end of the day, you can't escape this. How you do anything is how you do everything. If your health habits suck and you can't stick with that, odds are, in other areas of your life, you can't stick with anything else, okay? So again, when it comes to the food, figure it out. I, I'm just gonna see, I know I'm gonna see a bunch of comments and people giving excuses, but figure it out. Hey, if you can't go vegan yet, for whatever reason, let's say where you live or you just don't have the money, then what is what it is that you're gonna buy, stick to something more natural. Skip the Pop-Tarts and all that shit that's man-made. Grab something natural, dude. And if your taste buds are so dead that you can't taste it anymore, slowly incorporate it into your diet, man. Because once you start eating healthy again, you'll get your taste buds back. They've been so polluted with processed sugar and salts and all that crap that you've lost your ability to taste what food actually tastes like. Hell, I see people even before they get their plates and they start eating, they get the salt or whatever it is and they start putting on. It's like, dude, all you're going to taste is salt. Come on. These are just little things. Now, can you have the balance of working a lot and health? Yes, it doesn't take that long. It just takes a little bit of uh, scheduling and making it a priority. And that's it because when you do that, all the other steps that I described will fall into place. This shit is not rocket science. The only difference is your businesses, your entrepreneurial things, uh, for all the guys going after girls or whatever the fuck it is that you're doing, you put that up here on priority and your health and everything else and your wellness is down here. And believe me, my friends, you don't wanna be 40, 50, 60, struggling to walk with diabetes and all these other fucking diseases that everybody's having that's gonna ruin the rest of your life. Because the only thing you hear, oh, YOLO, you only live once and oh, well, I wanna enjoy it while I'm young, dude. Do you want to be 40, 50, 60 living, you know, in hospice? I don't. I want to be healthy and strong my whole fucking life. I want to look like this as long as possible. 
and feeling good, mentally sharp. Because that's the last thing I can wrap you up with. Many of you um, admire me or look up to my, my level of mindset. Well, a lot of that has to do with my temple, my body. This vessel right here, I keep it clean so this can operate at its highest efficiency. Because when you're poisoning yourself with liquids and foods that are acidic, you're fucking up your mind. How many of you have mental fog and all those other things? Get your health in order. Can you do it? Yes. Small priorities, small steps. Anything in this video is not rocket science. It's just for you to actually start doing it. That's it. That's it. Again, it's not crazy. It's not hard. All you need to do is put it on your schedule and say, hey, this is a priority in my life now. I have to do this. There's no other excuse. Okay, if you have any other questions, post them below. I can do more videos or answer for you. I just want to do a quick video. I didn't give too much, but it's already at 11 minutes and I don't want to make these videos too long. Get your exercise in order, get your diet in order, and guess what? It's going to feed your mind and make you that much stronger, okay? So for those of you who haven't um, subscribed to the podcast, make sure you check out Supreme Being. It's on every major platform. And Modern Success, if you guys want more detailed stuff that I give as far as, you know, what I do for exercise, uh, my diet, and that kind of stuff, I did uh, post some stuff in Modern Success for them that I, I know will benefit you on top of everything else that I offer in Modern Success already as far as sales and mindset and all that good stuff, okay? Cool. Team BC, make sure you like the video, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.